Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Mac Marla and Christopher. We're pretty excited. We're giddy. Well, I'm giddy like a little schoolgirl. I don't know about you. I'm totally excited. Um, what we are looking at here is the pre-release of the Atomic Age, as you can tell by the actual logo there. Um, so. The intent of this video is that we want to walk you through the actual upgrading of our base to the Atomic Age. If you can see well enough that we've got enough crowns that we can go ahead and do everything and walk you through it. So we're going to take you through upgrading to the Atomic Age and also all of the buildings to give you a brief overview of what they look like. I think. Yes. Okay. You don't even have to worry about it. Just instant. instant. Everything's just going to be oh, instant. Oh, how exciting is this? Okay, I, I get to push the button. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. No. There we go. Okay. Holy. So this is post-World War II. Yeah. And that's what your town center looks like. Zoom in. I want to see that bad boy. There Isn't you go. That is neato. Holy fantastical. Yes. Okay. So, what do we we'll, want? We'll do the important stuff first, like farms. Let's see what your farms look like. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do we want to see first? What do you want to see first? Let's upgrade. Instant. Instant. Oh, oh wow. Holy, is that not a change? Look at that bad boy. It actually looks like a molten refinery. Mm-hmm. Armory. What else do we have? And uh, this account is Roman. Roman. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, we've got to follow that order of operations, don't we? I guess. instant. Wow, even the gold mill. Look at the gold, mm -hmm. look at the gold storage. It's like a bank now. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming we're going to have to do some of those anyway, so let's just get them done. Everything looks so modern. Yes. <laughs> the level 14 walls. Who has those walls? Anyways, not me. <laughs> I am curious to see what they look like, though. Oh, okay. You want to see some walls. Chris wants to see some walls. I'd like to see some walls. Let's just, just you no, know, do like a whole row. Okay. Select more so we can get a good visual of it. That's right. We want to... What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I am not doing what I'm supposed to do. Chunk? Sure. Only cost 72 million. Oh, see, you can't even. Oh, okay. You'd have to do them like one at a time because I guess you can barely hold enough to get them up there. Yeah, okay. So let's do them. Okay, so it's just been replaced and it looks like it's made of concrete. Mm -hmm. Do it. Okay. We'll just do a little section here. There we go. Those are max walls. Those are max walls. That's scary, scary. What else can we do? That mortar. I want to see what the mortar turns into. So it gives you 708 more hit points and DPS is increased by 34. And you oh. still, we still can't hold enough. No, we still need to <laughs> actually. Uh, okay, here's the other melt. Let's we upgrade found it. it. We found it. Okay. There it is. Okay. Oh, wait, that one is 
That's food, though. Oh, that's food. Yeah. Why is that? Finish. I want to see that. You know what? We never zoomed in. It is. It's like a bank. Mm -hmm. And there's the mill. Oh, that is neat looking. How awesome is that? All right. Now are we golden? Uh, yes, I think so. 10-5. There we go. Okay, finish. Wow. If that isn't scary looking and awesome, I don't know what is. And an additional 451 DPS with 760 more hit points. Instant. instant. Sorry. We're not, we're not used to doing the instant. Yeah. We'll get it down. We'll get it down. Do we get a close up of these bad boys? Wow. It looks like maybe there's a bit of a visual glitch in that one. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it looks like somebody put in a JPEG rather than a PNG. But that is neat looking. What about the mortar? I want to see the big yellow thing around it. All right. Holy human. snot. That is incredible. What else did you want to see? Um, oh, here's a garrison. Let's upgrade it. Instant. <laughs> you can just uh, overclick me here. Can guys. I overclick you? Yeah. I am. I'm, re I'm reaching over here if you guys couldn't I tell. I guess it's not really a click because it's a tablet, but that's okay. It's still a click. Uh, now did you tell what was going on there? So, uh, just hang on. I just wanted to, so, uh, damage per second is an extra 85. So yeah, let's do it. Gotta get a, gotta get a good look at these things though. I know. They're right? all green and army-ish. And what is, what is that one? I didn't even get to see. What is that, what does that actually produce? Elite infantry. How sick is that? You want to upgrade that? Sure, yeah. May as well. We'll go through as many things as we can get done. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Sure, yeah. <laughs> wow. What is it? Wow. 63% and 58% reduction. Scary. Now, can you upgrade your... Do you get any extra, extra troops? Additional troops? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. So you get an extra... Five for five each barracks. Per barrack. So uh, 15 more troop space in the Atomic Age. Uh, bunker. Bunker. Oh, there's the bunker. Let's upgrade it. So, heavy tank MK4 and a thousand more hit points. That's fine. <gasps> oh, we've got to upgrade the oil refinery. Well, that's a good thing you knew where that was. I don't know. <laughs> I did notice it earlier. Instant. Does that change much? Oh, a little bit, eh? Yeah. It starts to look a little bit more like a refinery or a... An oil well. Uh, okay, upgrade. Yes. Yes. Okay. That looks like uh, an alien spaceship. I've got to admit. <laughs> look out for alien spaceships. Yeah, it does look very futuristic. Oh, sniper towers. I bet you the sniper towers are going to look kind of neat. Upgrade. Show it off. Nice. I don't like where that's sitting, so let's just move it. <clears throat> Get a better view. Is that as high as that bad boy goes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What that's is this? That's crazy. That's the sand battery. <laughs> Do it. Level four sand battery. 
Very nice. New wonder. Oh, I wonder. Uh, Air defense? Yeah. Upgrade? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Very neato. Oh, tank depot. Upgrade. Nice. So there's some very, very new age looking stuff in the atomic age thus far. Mm -hmm. um, what else are we missing? That looks bad. It does look. It does look. That looks mean. What about this? Okay. I want to. I want to touch that one. Okay, you touch that one. What generals are available? You'll notice that everything's like completely maxed, right? Churchill. But how many? No, of these? that's a global one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Churchill's global. Okay. So. Can you get? You can get four generals now. Wow. No. No. no three. No, still just three. Still just three generals. Now, where's our factory? Sorry, I, I kind of took over there. Heat of the moment. I'm all excited. Where is the factory? There's the airstrip. There's the factory. Yeah, see, that's what we want to upgrade. So this is what this is the new APC. Whoop whoop. The armored personnel carrier. All right. So you do have to actually upgrade your factory in order to get that. And the airstrip is where you're going to have to upgrade probably to get your helicopters. I guess not. If you go train. I am not seeing helicopters. Where would they be? Oh, probably a helipad. Do you have to build a helipad maybe? Let's see. Have we upgraded all the defenses? Uh, I'm pretty sure. There's another house available in the Atomic Age. Good to know. Uh, a few more walls for you. A lot more walls for you, actually. Mm -hmm. Bunkers and spike traps, another sniper tower, another sand battery, more ambush traps. Wow, so if you're in the Atomic Age, you're going to be there a while. There's lots to do there. An additional global? Yeah, that would have been a global one. Hmm. Wonders. Maybe you have to research it first in your armory. No. Factory? Oh, I'm not seeing it. We'll have to find out where that is found. <gasps> oh, there it it's is. It's in your barracks. You train attack helicopters from your barracks. <laughs> Five time damage against defensive buildings. <clears throat> We're gonna instant that. <laughs> Indeed. So you train that at your barracks? Is that what I'm hearing? Mm-hmm. And there it is. And it, it only costs food, it doesn't cost oil, which is kind of awesome. Yeah, it's really very That's affordable. 15,000, so it's cheaper than a howitzer. Uh, troop space is seven, so similar to that of, I guess, a mortar guy? Mortar guy is only six, I believe. Six? But still, not, not quite the same as a, a howitzer. And it flies, I mean, how awesome is that? What else? Do we want to actually walk through the wonders this time? I think we do. Okay. Uh, so Let's go. Store. So the Sydney Opera House. Let's just click on it. Do we want to show these up? Additional citizen. Uh, expeditions 20% faster. If you're Australian, you might like that. Oh, here. We can just do that. There we go. University skill research time by 10% activate uh, countdowns. Activate to reset all other wonder cooldowns once per week. So 
what that would mean is that you actually would be able to activate this in order to trigger all of your so your your uh, strength of the gladiator power of the gladiator yeah and all of the other ones would be reset instantly which is kind of awesome but it's only once per week airstrip troops train 20 percent faster that's a big deal when you're talking about retraining blimps and things of that nature uh Oh, you get to assign an extra general for defense. And that general would sit on the Pentagon. Cool. And the UN, three national trade goods once a day. Uh, peacekeeping force. I wonder what the peacekeeping force is. I don't know if we can, like, showcase that. I, well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I would, I would I want to see that. It, it would, I believe it's all the special units from each nation. Yes, that's what I had read as well, is that it's like, so you would get a Greek tank and you would get uh, some British riflemen and you would get some Korean shooters. Okay, you want to see this one. Yeah. Are we sure? Um, yes, we're sure. Um, so I guess work. Work, instance. Instant. Here it comes. Getting closer. Getting two more. One more. T there. Okay. Now to you. That is. That's neato. That is what the Pentagon looks like. Generals. Okay. Joan of Arc. <laughs> Only because I've already activated Nobunaga. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I guess you would actually have to sabotage Nobu or, or the Pentagon? So I wonder if you even could. Maybe you can't. Maybe you can't, and you just got to fight a level 40 general. And speaking of which, well, we'll, we'll cover that in a little bit. That's going to be a separate video where we go through all the troops. Yeah. Oh, readout towers. We didn't do a readout tower. I know, and we didn't do landmine either. They're so mean looking. Now they're even more mean looking. Yeah. Wow. 17,600. That's like a tank. Wow. <laughs> Sorry about your troops, bro. Yeah, that could take out most of my generals. <laughs> um, I can't help but click the food. Sorry. <laughs> Force of habit. Yeah. Force of habit. There's stuff there to click. What else is there to upgrade that we can think of? The War Academy. War Academy, did you do that already? No, I didn't. So, you don't get any extra... It's, only, it's still just six war tactics. Unless you're Korean, of course. And then you've got seven. Uh, let's see. Embassy? No. No. Embassy st is still at level five. That's all right. Uh, Alliance Gate is still at level eight. That's just all right. Um, I can't think of we... I don't think we missed anything else. No. Um. We could do the command post. Command post stays the same. Stuck at level seven. Temple, Temple stays the same. Vault can be upgraded to store 1.1 million, it looks like. 1.14 to be exact, if you wanted to be a little bit picky about it. Um, okay. Oh, library. What if, what's available in there? Should we look? Yeah, we can take a quick peruse. What's the, where's the new stuff? Because all of our other stuff has been completed, so. Computing. Computing. Computing reduces the food cost. Yeah. University skill research, okay. Computing radar. Oh, towers connected to the city center by roads 
have a plus 15% attack. Okay, so wow. this is like upping your uh, rogue network. That is crazy. So having a good road network becomes exceedingly more important as soon as you hit that atomic age. Not that it wasn't important before, but now it actually, yeah. now it matters. Okay, you can increase the hit points of your wonders. Awesome. And um, a MK6 hit points on your transport paratroopers. So some buffs for your paratroopers and transports. Wow. Elite paratroopers. That kind of says it all. Thirsty? No. no, university just stays the same. Level 5. Oh, see? That's what we were trying to avoid. Oh. What did I do? Let's upgrade this dock. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, the dock wasn't upgraded? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, um, thank you. <laughs> you can now send your generals off. We know. Leave us alone. It starts to look pretty fancy. I think at level... Yeah, it goes up to... Uh, I guess seven. I've totally neglected mine, so this is kind I of... I think a lot of people have. Okay, so it does uh, go up to level eight. I've heard mixed, mixed reviews. I have as well. I've sent my guys off, and I was somewhat satisfied when, with what they came back with. That healing buff was kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Demolition Squad Army. Oh. Some neat stuff. Should we switch up the wonders? Sure. sure. Yes. Absolutely. It looks like the Sydney Opera House. Mm -hmm. Except I guess you would have to put it on the waterfront. You Well, and you don't even have the right waterfront, right? Well, but I don't know, somehow. Somehow it needs to be on the waterfront in order for it to actually look pro proper. Mm -hmm. Less 20%. So, if you are a fan of the dock, mm -hmm. that's the way to go. What else is there? I don't know. Well, atomium? Atomium. Atomium. All right. Because it looks like an atom? I think these are all real world things, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they so. are. The UN, that's not, a, that, they made that up. <laughs> okay. Scrolls, silk, porcelain. So you get nation goods from there. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be awesome. That looks super neat. All right. Well, I think we can wrap it up there. Uh, was there anything else that you think we missed? No, I don't think so. I think we've upgraded all the buildings, showed them off. Okay, you got to touch it. Now it's my turn. I'm going to play, and we'll talk to you guys later. Uh, yeah, and we'll uh, <laughs> show you uh, what some of the new troops can do. But yeah, we we'll be um, practice a little. Well, I think I think the plan at this point is that we will be coming back with the special troops. And we'll upgrade them on a per nation basis so you can actually see what your special troop for your nation does right yeah uh and we'll also be outlining and highlighting the new troops yes fantastic yes um if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe down below and don't forget keep your sticks on the ice have a good time